In this video, I show you how to drill and tap a hole to be able to use a normal off the shelf bolt. In this tutorial, you will need drill bits and something to drill with. This could include a drill press, a hand drill, or a lathe, which is what I'm going to use. Also optional are some center drills. The first step, and this is optional, is to use your center drill to drill a pilot hole. This puts a chamfer on the hole for your normal drill bit to track correctly. This will give you a more accurate position of the hole. If you choose to use the center drill to start your hole, you could also put this in your hand drill or your drill press. Except is to pick your drill size. This will depend on a chart. You could look these up online. In my case, I'm going to drill a quarter by 20. The closest normal drill size, as you can see in the chart, is a 1364th. That's what I have here to start my hole with. The key here is to keep the drill bit lubricated while you move it forward. The little bits will start coming out, but I back out the drill bit and then continue to go in and out, in and out to allow the pieces to remove through the flutes. If you don't, it'll get stopped up and it'll stop drilling correctly. I'm going to start out by lubricating the drill bit. I'm going to continue to add lubrication as it goes in and out to keep the pieces moving. Next, it is helpful to put a small chamfer on the edge of your hole. This is not necessary since your tap will have your chamfer, but this just makes it easier. Next step is to secure your workpiece. I've just secured an advice here so it cannot move once I start tapping it. To secure your tap, you have two options. You can use this very large handle or you can use this small handheld one. This will depend on the size of your hole. Since I'm only tapping a quarter inch hole, I could get away with using this small handheld one. To secure your tap, all you do is put it in this little area right here. Once you put the corners in right here, you will just turn this and it'll clamp down on it and secure it. Start tapping, I'm going to put some oil here at the entrance. Also going to put some oil on the tap itself. So all I'm going to do is keep it perfectly straight in line with your workpiece or the hole wherever you're drilling if it's in a, a flat workpiece. And I'm going to start slowly turning this and it will lead in and keep itself true. Once it's started, I can feel that it's secure so I know it's starting to go into the hole. I will go roughly a quarter inch, back it out a quarter inch and let the chips move out. Go in a quarter inch more and keep on going back and forth and slowly work your way in. Once you go say three revolutions, I like to add more oil and I will take the tap all the way out, remove all the chips and go back in. Continue to do this until you get to the bottom of your hole. Once you've tapped as far as you need, it's time to clean out all the chips. I use a can of WD-40 basically, and I cover the hole and just spray in. The fluid will go in and force all the chips out and clean it out, clean all the oil at the same time. I like to remove the workpiece and just flip it upside down to get any extra fluids or chips out. Now it's time to test a bolt to make sure your threads are good. Now I'm going to screw this bolt in and make sure it threads correctly. And it's threading correctly. I only tapped it a small bit so it's only going a tiny bit and that's all you need to do to tap a hole. If this video was helpful please like and subscribe for more helpful do-it-yourself and how-to videos.